Doom Eternal is one of my favorite games because of many reasons, one of them being how simplistic it is, or at least in the beginning. Now, Doom Eternal later on in, like, the Ancient Gods Part 1, <coughs> pretty hard, <coughs> uh, but basically, the Ancient Gods Part 1 is a lot more harder to, than simplistic to handle. And, I mean, it just shows you how simplistic the game is when it literally gives you this in the first couple of seconds. I know, crazy, right? Now that, my dear friends, was one of the very first actual cutscenes in this entire game. One of the best cutscenes in my game, too. Because, again, like I said, how simple this one is. I mean, like, for instance, if a game just went all full on, it would be a bit overwhelming. The thing is, the game shows you how strong the Doomsday really is in just a couple of steps. Like, for instance, he literally grabbed the demon guy by his throat and then ripped his head off. Now that's pretty bad on strong, and that's not a secret. But what is the secret of the secret in this game that you can actually find in every single level? So how about we talk about those for a little bit? Alright, you ready? Starting now. In Doom Eternal, there are things in the secrets. Basically, most of them can be found in, like the name suggests, secret areas. But, most of them, they, they have a different variety. Like, for instance, vinyls, minifigures, or like, you know, action figures, that is. Even secret encounters and cheat codes. But, I know this isn't what the heck y'all came here for. Y'all came here for demons. So, how about we get to the demons real quick. Okay, by the way, this is something known as a grenade launcher. Because, apparently, we need a grenade launcher in Doom. Why not? Anyways, back to the demon situation. Basically, demons can come in all shapes and sizes, from down to the zombies, all the way up to the icon of sin. Now, like I said, different shapes and sizes. There's, for instance, the zombies, the imps, the possessed soldiers, the Kako demon, and the Arachnatron in this level. Oh, and also the tentacles, but we won't talk about those guys. Basically, these guys all make up the very first level worth of enemies that you have to fight. And basically, the entire thing is basically a mosh pit for your very first level. But, like I said, it's very simplistic and you can easily get the hang of it. Now, have by, by far the best cutscene in most of Doom Eternal right now. This has got to be my favorite cutscene I think I've ever seen, so just for context, it's the ending of the very first level, meaning that we are very close to the end of this episode of uh, Doom Tutorials for Stupid Players. And I just hope that you guys know that I'm thankful for y'all watching this, and I'll see you next time. You know, once the video ends. <laughs> the con maker is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is, by all accounts, indestructible. How can this be? No man can pass through the gate! It is... <laughs> Nothing! The sacrament 
of this world to the great Khan Maker will be made, and the energy will be restored once again. As it is written, from the souls of the non-believers, you will not save them from their judgment.